Seven News reporter Jacqueline Allen is live. Jacqueline, you found some entrepreneurs are already stoked about possible pot tourism. You know, tourism bureaus may not like it, but if all of this works out, the owner here at Ganja Gourmet says this could mean big business in Colorado for tourism, and he is ready to cash in. You see the selection. From pot brownies to cannabis suckers, the claim to fame at Ganja Gourmet, the largest edible marijuana selection in the state. We opened at 9 a.m. and the phone was ringing all morning, even before 9 a.m., with people from all over the country. Owner Steve Horwitz is stoked about potential pot tourism. Every two minutes the phone was ringing and it was another person that wants to come on vacation. Breckenridge has already been dubbed the Amsterdam of the Rockies after it legalized possession in 2010. I think it's possible that uh, some tourists may have increased interest in coming to Colorado because we are a common sense state that doesn't you know, waste our, our precious resources uh, arresting adults for possessing small amounts of marijuana. And some entrepreneurs are already dreaming big. We found one man already planning a bus tour to Mary Jane points of interest. Uh, I think that his idea is brilliant to do that. So exactly how much marijuana could tourists carry around? So. How, how much marijuana is this? That is uh, one ounce. So this gives us a good idea of how much someone could legally carry once this goes into effect. Absolutely. About a Ziploc bag full. And that will make about 50 to 56 joints, I'm told. But you can't buy it here at Ganja Gourmet. You have to have a medical marijuana license to buy it at one of these types of stores. For any of that marijuana being carried around, that will have to come from the black market. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7